Jo from Clean Eating and today we're talking all about pears. Now pears are available all year round and they're absolutely beautiful, a great thing to have in your fridge because you can use them for both sweet and savory dishes. Now when you're buying your pears at the market or the grocery store, you want to make sure that they're ripe. Now most pears don't change color when they're ripe so you have to do a little neck check which means that you just take your finger and press along by the stem of the pear and if it kind of gives and it's a little bit soft, that means your pear is ripe and it's good to go. Now this little guy is an Anjou pear, one of my favorites. It's very aromatic, it's sweet and it's crunchy. It's very delicious. And this is one of the pears that don't change color. They will stay green even when they're ripe. Now to prepare these pears, you can simply cut them straight down the middle. And if we wanted to poach them, we can cut out the core. Now there's not a lot of seeds or anything in these pears, but you wanna make sure that you take out that little bit of tough stem on the inside. Now you can just use a melon baller and it's very easy and takes out a perfect circle and this is a pear that you can poach. Now it's up to you if you want to peel it. If you're going to, if you're going to poach them for a nice presentation I would have peeled these before I did this little trick um, but leaving the peel gives a lot of fiber and a lot of the vitamin C stays in the pear so it's up to you. Now next we have our Bosque pear, which is sort of the quintessential pear. And this also does not change color when it's ripe. It stays brown and you want to do the little neck check. So once again, you just take your finger and you press it gently along the stem, right by the neck of the pear. And if it gives a little bit, that means it's ripe. Now your pears, when you take them home, you want to make sure you store them on your counter. These are all European variety pears, which means they have the quintessential pear shape and they store well on the counter. Uh, if you want to keep them on the counter but cover them, just store them in a paper bag and seal it up. That'll also help them ripen a little bit. Now the other variety of pear that we have is an Asian pear and you can tell an Asian pear because it looks more like an apple. It's very, very round. And those pears you want to keep in your fridge. They're best refrigerated. Boss pears are really good for eating. They've got a little bit of a grainy texture, so they really are the typical pear and the one that you see most often. Next we have these little beauties and these are absolutely adorable. They're called Pharrell pears. They're small, they're really crisp, and they're really juicy. And they're kind of a green color with a little bit of yellow fleck. And as they ripen, they turn this beautiful shade of red. So you may see these entirely red at the store. Now pears, like apples, will turn brown when you cut them. So to avoid that, once you cut them, you want to put a little bit of lemon juice on them. Now you can get the lemon juice on these little guys however you like. You can sort of dunk them in and let it drip off. You can take your finger and sort of swish it around. You can take a little brush. Just get it on there. There's no right or wrong way to do this, as long as it has a little bit of lemon juice. Now the only thing I would be careful of is don't soak them in lemon juice because it's going to give them a really perfumey flavor. It's just a little bit just to stop them from browning while you finish up the rest of your work. When you're storing your pears on the counter, if they're not ripe, they'll last for about a week up until they're ripe. Once they're ripe, you want to eat them in about two to three days. Asian pears are a little bit different than the European pears. They'll turn a little bit brown, but that's because of the sugar. It's not really oxidizing. So all you have to do is keep those Asian pears in the fridge and seal the cut side with a little bit of plastic and you're good to go. Now storing your European pears, make sure you keep them on the counter and they'll last for about a week. I'm Chef Joe. thanks for joining us. For more tips and tricks, we'll see you again at cleaneating.com.